Gary and I took a cruise to Alaska, and while he was there, he got a bad sinus infection. It continued to bother him. So eventually he went to an ENT. He said, oh, just on an off chance, we're gonna send you for an MRI, and that's how they discovered the tumor. An acoustic neuroma. When you hear the word brain tumor, you immediately think of your mortality. But I am concerned. Learning you have a brain tumor, it's a terrifying thing, but Dr. Harar Shahinian, medical director of the Skull Base Institute of Los Angeles, has developed some really interesting and innovative techniques to help remove them. Thank you for joining us, because I, I am really excited to share some of these new techniques you're using, because for someone like Gary, this is his MRI, he had a really large tumor. He did, and uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, Gary had the largest, what we call a grade four tumor, which as you can see here, this entire thing is the tumor. And this thing here is his brain stem, which is really the most important part of the, of the brain. And you can see how it's pushed over uh, to the right side. This is his left side by the tumor. So the tumor is having a mass effect and without getting rid of that tumor, because that, that was a tumor in precious territory, correct? the most precious territory. That's a lethal tumor. Now, out of curiosity, before we get to some of the more nuanced elements of, of what you do, is there any rhyme or reason to who gets tumors like this? Well, this specific tumor is a mutation. Uh, the incidence is one in every 100,000 people. So we get about 3,000 of these tumors in the United States per year. But it's not hereditary. It doesn't, uh, uh, you know, just because somebody in your family had it doesn't mean you're gonna have it. But the brain? precious territory and go through, let's talk about the old technique to remove a tumor like this. This is the way it's done everywhere in the world currently in 2013. Two teams of surgeons, uh, they drill a fairly large hole behind the ear. They bring the ear forward, the first team. The second team puts in a metal retractor to push the cerebellum, which is the lower brain, not the upper brain, but the lower brain. And there's the tumor, about the same size as this gentleman's tumor, and the tumor is taken out piecemeal. Usually a 12-hour procedure, uh, a two-week hospitalization with at least a week or five to seven day stay in the ICU. This is a piece of fat from the abdomen because there's such a big hole that you worry about brain fluid leaking from the incision. So you use the fat to, to block it. Big operation, big, big operation. recovery. But you've invented something that is quite unique. <laughs> well, this is the only place where it's done this way in the world currently. We make a dime-sized opening behind the ear like corking a precious bottle of wine. We go in, we encounter the tumor, we don't touch the brain, we don't touch the cerebellum, and we use ultrasonic, it's a form of a vacuum ultrasonically, and we go inside of the tumor and we ultrasonically take out the central core of the tumor to make a large tumor much smaller, and then we take the rest of the tumor, and then we put the piece of bone back in, just like corking back a precious bottle of wine. So Dr. Shining is basically talking about vacuuming out a tumor, which <laughs> is pretty remarkable.